UCLA Health Sound Body Sound Body Sound of Mind. Today we have Matt Fleesock, Executive Director with us. We have Paola Nava Jimenez, Program Manager. Yeah. 
product, I walked into that room and I was in awe with the incredible equipment that has been added to our fitness center. I am so happy that our students have this incredible opportunity to work out every single time and use that equipment that we know is important for them to develop those healthy habits to work out and stay fit. Thank you, UCLA, body, sound body, sound mind, for this incredible contribution to our school, and our Rough Riders are grateful for that. It has a great impact on every single one of them. Thank you. And at this time, I'd like to welcome our superintendent up to the microphone. Thank you.
Many of my students know that message already, but I'd like you to walk away thinking about that deeply today with your peers. So in our district, uh, well, you know we all prioritize health and wellness, and uh, we're very fortunate that our middle and high schools will now benefit from the equipment that has been so generously provided to our students. But this is a lean forward experience. Once we have them, we need to take good care of them. Once we take good care of them, we also need to share what we're learning here with our peers, with our parents, with our community members. So we elevate the importance of being a healthy community, not just at school, but beyond. So on that note, I just wanted to uh, also speak on behalf of our Board of Education. This is a week of many individuals having to be at graduations and other events, but their commitment to this work is one that is unparalleled. So I bring regards on their behalf as well. So we're very grateful. I know there's more to come. I know we have partners this morning. I happen to be at the Pacific BMW at 8 a.m. and we're starting an internship there. So who's to say there isn't an internship with UCLA in the works? <laughs> because South Body Sunline needs partners that are younger that can speak to what is important in our community. So as a, a student advocate, as an advocate of our educators who do so much for our students and our administrators, I thank you immensely. And I know that uh, every school district will know about this because we're going to make sure we post it and advertise it and really take advantage of what has happened for our students as a result of your commitment. Thank you.
by a high school only had a football weight room. It was scary, it was intimidating, and I did not play football, so I did not belong. My first experience in a fitness center was when I went to UCLA at 18 years old as an undergraduate. And I walked in, I felt out of place, I felt scared, I turned around and I left. So what you guys have here today is an opportunity and access that not many students are afforded. I did not have that opportunity. You have the ability to use equipment and build a comfort and confidence in equipment that you will see when you go to high school. Those eighth graders here that may feel like they're leaving behind this new equipment, hey, guess what? Your high school has it from us too. Isn't that great? So my, my ask of each and every one of you is I want you to use this equipment. I want you to learn how to use it safely and correctly. I want you to build that confidence and competence. And I want you to feel like you belong. Because that is what we are all here for. Support that. Support that for you. So thank you very much. Thank you to all who have supported us here in the district. And I want to give a special recognition to my team. Paul and Amelia. I'm the guy that just gets to talk. They're the ones that did all the work. But thank you so much. Your brain can be alert. Because when you exercise, 
You may not know this, but your body has chemicals inside it. And when you exercise, certain chemicals are released that give you energy, that make your brain work well. It's amazing for your body. So that's the importance of exercising. Now, let's talk about our brain breaks. Can anyone tell me why, what they think a brain break is? Anyone? Shout some things out. <laughs> that is a good answer. Is it when your brain breaks? Yes, that is a good answer because it makes perfect sense to say when your brain breaks. But brain breaks actually, you, have, you guys can have a seat for a second. When your brain, a brain break is when you give yourself a break. Do you guys have a break? Lunchtime break? Exactly. So we're going to give our brains a break. The importance of giving our brains a break. Actually, you know what? I'm going to have you kids. Stand back up for me. I want to try and see something. I want you to do a football drill. Keep going.
take a brain break, get away, do anything that you can do to slow your brain down, okay? And I'll leave you with this affirmation that you can say every day. Every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better. Thank you. That was awesome. So now we're going to add more energy to the room. I don't know if that's possible, but I'm going to welcome to the microphone our amazing coach, Karina Rodriguez.
And this time, believe it or not, we have exciting scissors and a ribbon to cut. So I'd like to welcome you up to help us, please. Audience, you know you're, you're, you are welcome. Come on up, don't be shy, don't be shy. We have a ribbon to cut, and I get to use those big scissors. Please come and join me. Equipment, and you'll be so amazed and impressed. So please come on in and welcome. 